I am Dr. Manmohan Kamat, working as a full-time senior consultant in the Department of Minimal Invasive Surgery at Nanavati Super Speciality Hospital located in Vileparle West, Mumbai. Laparoscopy surgery today is uh, one of the major surgical procedures which has taken over a branch more than 70 to 80 percent of the general surgical fields. In the case of advancements, it has gone much, much beyond a routine laparoscopic cholecystectomy and appendicectomy and there is no organ which is left untouched in the abdomen which can be managed laparoscopically in a today's era. Organs such as stomach, liver, spleen, intestine, all and everything can be managed including the things in the parietal wall defects such as hernias can be managed beautifully with laparoscopic surgery. Once upon a time, the surgeries which were done for reflux diseases or internal hernias such as hiatus hernias which were very difficult to manage because they were to be operated in a depth that restrictions have been taken away with the advent of laparoscopy surgery. And all over the world these surgeries have been done and they are basically fall in the category of advanced laparoscopic surgery. The surgeries for obesity, indigestion, for reflux diseases as I told you or even malignancies for that matter can easily and properly managed with the laparoscopic techniques and with the use of today's technology it is very easy and becomes much beneficial for the patient that these surgeries can be carried out uh, you know with a minimal invasive techniques. In the case of challenges this particular branch becomes a specialized branch especially when we talk about the advanced laparoscopy surgery because learning the basic laparoscopic techniques becomes easy job where surgeons restrict themselves to appendix and gallbladders. But going beyond that is a little steep learning curve which requires perseverance and a persistent learning and practices of the surgical techniques. The use of modern technology in the form of the high definition imaging equipments which are used to visualize the imaging in laparoscopy surgery. The use of energy resources such as the currents which are used in the form of ultrasonic devices or maybe the energy resources which have been used all those are required and they are available for the benefit of the patient which possibly restricts the surgeons from going beyond that. But definitely use of those techniques always helps this patient for a better outcome and anything in the abdominal cavity can be managed including the pancreas, including the spleen, including any type of cyst which are there all over uh, retroperitoneal surgeries for that matter. The surgeries even in the form of kidneys or stones which are there, anything, anything can be really you know achieved by this type of uh, surgical techniques. Well, uh, in case of advanced laparoscopic surgeries, what happens is that the time duration taken for the surgery could be a little longer. The patients who are suffering from these diseases uh, could be having a comorbid conditions at times such as uh, diabetes mellitus, cardiac disorders. The physiological changes due to use of uh, the gases which are used during surgery and the duration which is used, it warrants or rather it demands that the patient should have uh, intra and post operative monitoring which is to be done properly. The minimal invasive techniques which are used can have the side effects or the uh, damages which can happen during the surgery could be have uh, you know hazardous effects in the post operative course. So they have to be done very carefully. The physiology of the patient which changes in the patients who have presented themselves uh, during these cases and the duration which goes on. So the CO2 concentration in the blood by the use of monitors to monitor them intraoperatively and postoperatively are to be monitored very carefully. 
these are the basic challenges which requires the proper pre-op assessment of a patient. Choosing the patient for advanced laparoscopic surgical uh, studies and then further operating them on uh, and post-operative vigilant uh, monitoring are the basic necessities which are required in these patients. So, availability of those things in the given circumstances. So, anything can be done anywhere, no, it is not the thing. It should has to be done in a proper place, in a proper circumstances with the proper equipments. I think these are the necessities which are uh, you know required for advanced laparoscopic work. Well, as regards the infrastructure which is required, it definitely requires good team of anesthesia. The post operative ICU care if at all you know the patient requires one and the monitoring as I told you. So, you know having all those things definitely reduces the much burden and the stress which the surgeon undergoes in handling such type of challenging cases of advanced laparoscopic work. A good teamwork in the form of anesthesia intensivist and uh, assistance in the form of nursing care and otherwise all these things do carry in for we are fortunate that in nanavati super specialty hospital we have a, such a backup facilities where we ha can have all these things together which can give excellent results for a patient's recovery future as i told you the growth of laparoscopy surgery worldwide is somewhere around 8 to 10 percent you know which is a very fast growing and as i told you that it is already taken over around 70 to 80 percent of open surgical surgeries are getting converted into laparoscopy because of the obvious benefit that it has to offer to these patients. Now, as regards the invasion which is minimum is you know from um, mini we go to the micro you know that type of system what we follow and from uh, the trauma which is caused due to the present devices we would like to minimize that. So, the present or the futuristic approaches towards that which are already in the pipeline which you see that robotic surgery which is come into picture has definitely a good role to play though they are restricted today to some specialized surgeries. Uh, surgeries for patients through the natural orifices is another one of the evolving uh, chapter which again is you know though it is again come out but it is not come in a big way. So, we are talking about something like entering to the stomach wall or maybe something like a entering to the vagina for abdominal surgery which is something uh, you know a scarless surgeries. So, these are the things what we are looking at as a futuristic surgery. So, the robotic surgery, the capsule endoscopic surgeries, the surgeries through the natural orifices or nodes as we call them NOTES all these things natural orifices translate. Uh, endoscopic surgery. So, these are the things which are the future of the surgery which will take us uh, you know give uh, tremendous benefits to the patients and virtually patient will be painless and scarless after these surgeries what we see as the future of this surgery. Thank you so much.